Tac radio engine, but I understand you're also making parts for other uh, engines as well. Yeah, that's right. As you know, the, uh, this market is uh, very competitive and uh, it's cutthroat. And at the moment, US is in a bit of a decline. So to make sure that our engine, our engine company is secure and our, our future is secure, we decided to expand into some other areas, a bit of diversification to, ha to help, keep, uh, you know, help keep the company buoyant and moving along so we're not just so reliant on, on engines. I mean, our engines have been very successful, but we've decided to introduce a, another line of aftermarket solutions which uh, have been equally successful and uh, you know, have helped, as I say, turn the, keep the wheels turning at Rotec. Yeah, that's right. We introduced the throttle body fuel injection system initially for our own engines as an alternate to the Bing carburetor. The throttle body obviously has some advantages with mixture control and it's fully aerobatic. It's a very simple unit and uh, it's proven to be very popular on our engines and we've since expanded our range so that we can supply a throttle body for all engines including Rotax, Lycoming, Jabiru, uh, Continental, etc. Jabiru, which is again a, a, a fairly uh, good selling engine on the market. Uh, I understand you've also now expanded into supplying things for Jabiru that you feel improve the Jabiru. Well obviously the Jabiru is an Australian engine and we're an Australian company and uh, uh, what actually happened was the throttle, our throttle body fuel injection system fits uh, our Rotec engine and it has the same mount as a Jabiru so it automatically fitted the Jabiru engine. It wasn't our initial intention but our unit ended up on many, many Jabiru's in Australia and then subsequently in the States. Uh, several of those customers introduced us to other issues that they were having with the Jabiru engine and we looked at those and decided to tackle those head on as well as an opportunity again to expand our business. So what is it that we did first then? What we got? Well the first thing that we, we uh, stepped into was um, the big thing that people complain about the Jabiru engine even though we think it's an excellent engine is, uh, is the cylinder head temperature issues that they can have on some installations. Of course it's an air cooled engine and we looked at this problem from a different uh, direction and decided to tackle it with a, a liquid cooling solution which has proven to be very successful and has uh, basically eliminated any chance of, uh, of uh, cylinder head uh, temperature issues. Now how long does it take for someone to do this retrofit? Well it's exactly the same as fitting a standard Jabiru head. You simply remove the, the burnt out air cooled heads if you've had trouble with them and one for one you just replace them with ours. Even though our head is liquid cooled uh, it still retains all the features of a Jabiru head. In other words, the original Jabiru valves would transfer, uh, the rocker arms would transfer, the spark plugs, everything's in the same position. We just have the absence of cylinder fins and we, use, uh, we have a water jacket cast into the unit so you're liquid cooling as opposed to air cooling. Well, it's, it's really a simple matter of replacing the air cooled heads with our liquid cooled heads and then using the appropriate plumbing to put water through the, the engine. We supply a small electric uh, boost pump, which is a brushless boost pump. They've got about a uh, 5,000 hour life on them. And uh, that small electric boost pump uh, draws uh, around about two amps and it feeds enough water through the, the heads to keep the, the engine cool. We also use a small radiator, about the same size as a Rotax radiator. And uh, it's a very simple installation. Now, wait, why is there a, a big uh, weight penalty uh, doing this? Well, in fact, each one of the Rotec heads is approximately 120 grams lighter than a, a Jabiru head, so the head is physically lighter. Uh, however, um, once you put your plumbing, your radiator and your water pump and your coolant on, on the aircraft, you'll have a weight penalty somewhere between 5 and 10 pounds, depending on your uh, installation. Now, you've also uh, mentioned that you've got an alternator or a generator that you can add to Yes, that's right. Um, uh, the other problem that we found with the Jabiru engine is that uh, they have a very small uh, charging system on them, very low capacity, somewhere around 8 to 16 amps, depending on what, uh, 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 what version of Jabiru engine you have. Again, it was actually one of our customers that actually developed this and handed it to me as a ready-made product and we made it more professional and uh, CNC and, and, uh, and anodized componentry. Basically what we're doing is we're, we're su supplying a plate, an adapter plate, some pulleys, belts and some instructions along with the uh, 45 amp Nip and Denso alternator and it makes for a very nice conversion of course then you've got a 45 amp uh, system as opposed to a, uh, a lightweight 16 amp or 8 amp system. This directly replaces their system so the weight penalty here would probably be a couple of pounds.
Now, you've also mentioned think something about the ignition system. Right, the other problem, the, the, other, uh, the third problem that uh, is quite uh, common with the Javaroo engine is because they run non-impulse magnetos, they require a lot of cranking speed to get the mags to fire. And on a cold, wet day, um, unless everything's just rot aligned perfectly, uh, you, you sometimes can experience difficulty getting them to start. We've had great success with the electronic ignition on our Rotec radials, and so we decided we could easily adapt our electronic ignition system to the Jabiru. And so what we've proposed and have been doing for some time now is replacing one of the, the coils on the Jabiru with this sensor and sensor plate, uh, with, which is a hall sensor, and then that trips the Rotec mo ignition module and the Rotec coil. And then, of course, the, uh, the high, high energy output is then fed back into the left hand distributor cap, and uh, away you go. Starts first blade every time. And what you're doing is you're using a combination of the Rotec electronic ignition system on the left hand side, but you retain the Jabiru magneto on the right hand side. With uh, two units combined, it makes for a very reliable system and, most importantly, easy starting. Now, is there again a weight penalty there? No, no way penalty there at all because you remove the Jabiru coil and simply replace it with our coil and the difference between those two coils would be negligible and of course these components weigh, weigh nothing. Now is there any problem with the ignition wiring or anything in order to fit that? No, the, the, I, haven't, I haven't got an ignition wiring harness to show you here today but a, a Rotec ignition harness, wiring harness comes along. Uh, is supplied with the unit and it's plug and play. Uh, all you have to do is run a power wire from your your old uh, your original mag switch, uh, make the P-leader power wire and you're pretty much up and running. You should have this unit installed and running in approximately one hour. There's no timing to set. By virtue of mounting this in the original coils position, the gap and the timing is automatically taken care of at, at the Rotec factory. So it, it is literally plug and play. So if someone wanted to get a little more information, get in contact with these ways to do it, well, obviously, go through our website. We're an Australian company, but we ship to America three or four times a week. So, you, uh, we use FedEx. We have an excellent rate here, and we can normally get parts to American customers quicker than they can get them from around the corner in California, etc. So, we pride ourselves on our service, and all these parts are in stock and available. It just takes one phone call or email, and we can shoot them out same day. And the website is? Our website is www.rotecaerosport.com. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.